the brilliance of our magical game is that we do have people as tiny as Austin Healy and a fraction bigger Peter Stringer <laughs> able to take down the likes of Martin Bayfield. But they have to get their technique right. And we want to go through a couple of techniques, uh, namely the choke tackle and why it happens and why we look at doing it and what the triggers are. And secondly, just the chop tackle and again, what the benefits of that are. So just from a, from, from a demo point of view, before we do, we'll, we'll just have a look up and, and, and see the big screen uh, of, of one of the games. I think it's, um, it's Sailor playing uh, in, the, in the Premiership. You can see first player in locks, uh, make, makes a big impact, second player in identifies that the ball is there to be held up. And what we're looking for is for the referee to call Maul. Now, George, just explain to the people at home, you know, what's the, what, what exactly is the difference between a tackle situation and a Maul situation? Um, well, first and foremost, uh, like a tackle situation, a ruckus form when one player from each side is over the ball. Uh, with a Maul, it's obviously when uh, the ball is held up and obviously momentum is there. So from a, from a mall point of view, to, to negate a mall taking place, the tackled player needs to have at least one knee placed on the ground. That's when referee calls, OK, tackle, release, and so a ruck ensues, OK? So let's just have a quick look at, uh, at the choke tackle, first of all. So similar to the clip, the picture is the ball looks as though it's being held up. We've, uh, Joe is already hooking the leg, making uh, Jamie unstable, which is fantastic. Going to make it more difficult for him to get to ground. And then second player in locks on the ball. What are you trying to do? Are you coming over at the top? Are you trying to lock underneath? Um, well, first and foremost, I obviously can trying off the ball. But if you're coming in, obviously trying to get hold the ball in, make sure he's stuck in that mall and keep, keep him up on his feet, as you said. How long are referees, you know, looking at a tackle situation like that, becoming from tackle to mall? Three, four, five seconds? Yeah, three, four seconds, once the momentum is stopped, and obviously then, more obviously it's formed. And also, you're entitled then, when that mall is called, even if it becomes a collapsed tackle, you're entitled to lie there. You don't have to roll away like you do when, when it is an actual tackle situation. No, exactly. So when, once that mall's collapsed, then you're free to stay there, uh, tie and jack or steal the ball or be in nuisance. All right, uh, the second, uh, the, the second uh, demo that we're looking at doing, we have a little bit of footage again from, from the Premiership. Um, uh, Bath last year, Peter Stringer playing for them. Great tackle from Jackson Ray uh, on Batty, and straight away, Johnson's in. He might not pinch the ball, but he slowed it down. So if we can just, we'll, we'll start over, make sure we don't hurt you, our prize <laughs> asset. So, asset. So we'll just uh, make a tackle. So, George, you know, we've got defenders in the front line, and we had Sam Warburton on last week, and he said sometimes as a seven, he almost plays behind that first defensive line to identify when it's, when it's good for him or whether he just gets into the next defensive set. Yeah, and that's what, obviously, in terms of good, the, good, the flankers from the other ones, obviously picking and choosing which is the most likely ruckling at a turnover and not wasting the energy on like, lost causes. And what about you know, one of the best chop tacklers of, uh, you know, I've ever seen or come across, I've been lucky enough to, to play with him, uh, un unlucky enough to get tackled by him, Dan Lydiot. What is it that he says about his technique that you can impart the knowledge on the viewers? Well, yeah, Dan is obviously brilliant at his job, the chief chopper, as he's known. Um, when, when, he, when he tops low, obviously, there's, there's, no, there's no mess around the ball. The ball is there to, to compete on. That's why him and obviously Sam work well together. Obviously, Dan chops him down, and then Sam comes in and just steals the ball. It's clean ball, there's no mess around it. He's there for him to take. Fantastic. Great stuff. Uh, Jamie, have you survived? Yeah. How's the broken hand? Yeah, that's Let all right. Let me help you up. Thank you. This one. Oh, God. Wow, nice watch. That is a. That is a house. You have a house on your wrist. That's outstanding. Um,